United all season have been given up. Every team they've played, they've been given up loads of chances, so I don't expect that to change today. Let's find out which way this one goes then with your commentary team of Gary Neville and Rob Hawthorne. Well, Tottenham have already been the prescription for one Manchester United pick-me-up this season. That was before Antonio Conte, though. It was Nuno's last game in charge. And it is Tottenham who get the game underway, having been... Here's Pogba. Ronaldo. It was impossible for him. Fred turning it round to Ronaldo. been more of an issue but they're looking to take this game by the scruff of the neck now Pogba he goes for it this is the target though well the goals lifted the confidence and goes for it himself and he did have other options well when Spurs have attacked they should be encouraged Son beautifully through Davis the level and put the flag up Well, he teased them. Here's Son. Just by Tellez. Ronaldo's header. It was straight at Nemanja Matic. It was another warning. And there'll be at least a warning here for Eric Dyer taking down Cristiano Ronaldo from behind. And it isn't just going to be a warning. It is. No foul by Matic, still rolls on the ground, but the uh, referee has now brought it back, so he hits the kick against the wall. Sancho, and get past him, and it's a penalty! The difference with this one is that Tellers... Kane levels! And you can't say they haven't deserved it with the way that they've responded to conceding first. Challenged by Romero. Deemed a free kick. On 177k. Sancho! Ronaldo! You can't keep him down for long! He's determined! Fantastic players, and they do deliver in moments. And that's the celebration. Another one for him. And Kane tries his luck. Got a deflection. Here's a corner. Team behind for the Sancho trying to place one, and Maurice hangs on. Well, the uh, week off doesn't seem to have done Cristiano Ronaldo too badly at all. Two goals, one spectacular long range. Don't change too much. With you for the second half, Gary Neville and Rob Hawthorne. Well, it's been a Tottenham reign of extremes under Antonio Conte. They'll feel vulnerable when they're being attacked. The defences have demonstrated their weaknesses in the first half. It's Kulisewski's cross, and uh, Dallow does glance it away just as... Regulon had his sights set. Just a break. Fred in the end gives it away, and it's Kane who finds Kulusevski and Son. And with the effort that's wide. Well, it's a good chance the game had drifted for five minutes. Really poor quality. Bit of confusion with Rashford, which allows Romero the opportunity to steal it, but he's given away the free kick. And two up with two back and a third coming to join them in Bentancourt. Ronaldo with two to shake off, goes for goal. And nobody there to claim the rebound. Yeah, there's no one up with him. Yeah, uh, Manchester United substitution. And Marcus Rashford, who spent the first hours, but restored it pretty quickly. Here's Son. A 
And Reguilon pulls it across. Oh, it's gone in. It's an own goal off Maguire. Manchester United, architects of their own downfall. They've been inviting pressure upon themselves. And the break has occurred in Spurs' favour. And it's before Spurs scored. High and uh, unpleasant for here's Ronaldo, and again Cristiano Ronaldo denied the hat trick by Lloris, palming it away. Well, he looks like the only hope. The uh, equaliser was scored, but now it's for Cavani. Yeah, by Pogba to Jaden Sancho, drives the cross against Sergio Regular. Swung in, Ronaldo! It just had to be him, didn't it? First hat-trick since his Manchester United return. Only his second ever for the club. He is fueled by the doubters and keeps coming up with the goods. past him and takes down Harry Kane, earning himself a yellow card in the process. He wanted the yellow card, Paul Pogba. And Lindelof, maybe kind of touch lucky there, didn't get too much on it, Regulon was coming in. Well, if Lindelof didn't get a touch... The greatest day of Cristiano Ronaldo's second coming at Manchester United, the day that he became FIFA recognised world top scorer. That wasn't good enough for him. He had to do it with a hat trick to see off Tottenham.